Jay and Jimmy Uso tension, stars Bray Wyatt is rumored to target upon his return to WWE. WWE Raw superstar replaces Finn Balor in the Judgment Day. Damian Priest loses his money in the bank contract when Brock Lesnar wanted to wrestle female WWE star. Sami Zayn rejoins the bloodline and more. Let's jump right into it. Stars Bray Wyatt is rumored to target upon his return to WWE. Bray Wyatt's return to WWE at Extreme Rules in October 2022 was one of the most anticipated events in wrestling. He didn't wrestle his first match until the Royal Rumble, and hasn't tangled with anyone since that bout. In fact, Wyatt has been away from the WWE since February. The Eater of World disappeared during the build of a potential WrestleMania match with Bobby Lashley. It's been nearly five months since Wyatt last stepped foot on Raw or SmackDown. He was left as a free agent following the 2023 WWE Draft. So when he comes back, who should he target? Here are four potential victims for Wyatt to torment when he returns to WWE. Number 4. Edge is a WWE Hall of Famer. The Rated R Superstar and the Eater of worlds haven't crossed paths since both returned to active status in WWE. Edge returned after a neck injury that kept him out of the ring since 2011. Wyatt has been in and out of WWE over the last three years. Edge has aspects of his character that can be dark and Wyatt could easily play off of those darker impulses. He could also say that time is running out for the Hall of Famer as an active wrestler. The two could battle each other on the mic, with the fans rooting for whoever they choose. It could be a great non-title main event feud. Number 3. Finn Balor has unfinished business with Bray Wyatt. Finn Balor will need a new feud once he is done with the World Heavyweight Championship picture. If the Judgment Day disbands, that will keep him busy. Wyatt and Beeler have a history that dates back several years. The Demon was supposed to face Wyatt, but the latter missed the event due to an unknown illness. The two could revisit that feud and break out their supernatural alter ego. A feud with the Fiend works best when there is history utilized. Since that angle didn't get a proper ending with the match, they could reboot it for Wyatt's potential return. Number 2. Cody Rhodes needs a main event level opponent until title match. Due to Cody Rhodes' longevity in the business, Bray Wyatt would have a lot of history to play with if he targets the American Nightmare. Both are main event level stars but need viable opponents to carry worthy feuds. The involvement and ambiguity of Uncle Howdy made Wyatt's angles strange since there wasn't a clear delineation of Howdy's intentions. Interestingly, when Wyatt was known as Husky Harris in NXT, Rhodes served as his mentor and pro. The Eater of Worlds could play on how Rhodes didn't help him and only cared for his advancement. Both stars just need dueling promos to make it work. Number 1. Bray Wyatt was the first victim of Roman Reigns' current run. During the summer of 2020, Bray Wyatt Wyatt won the Universal Championship from Braun Strowman. After the match, Roman Reigns returned from a hiatus and attacked both men. He won the title a week later and has held it ever since that moment. The two have already feuded in the past, with Wyatt coining the anyone but you Roman phrase. They echoed how many fans felt during the earlier relentless pushes of the big dog. Wyatt could claim that he allowed Roman Reigns to have his power trip, but that he's back to shake up the status quo. There are years of history between the two to build on. Only this time, Wyatt would need to come out on top. Early September is also the third anniversary of the match that crowned Reigns. Reigns. WWE Raw Superstar replaces Finn Balor in the Judgment Day. Finn Balor is expected to represent the Judgment Day at SummerSlam. The 41-year-old star is likely to challenge Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship in a rematch from their encounter at Money in the Bank 2023. However, Balor might be replaced by a certain Raw Superstar on the road to the biggest event of the summer. The star in question is none other than JD McDonough. WWE has been dropping subtle hints of the Irish ace potentially joining the Judgment Day for the past several weeks on Raw. Fans might witness an angle where GD is talked into replacing Finn Balor in the Judgment Day at SummerSlam, or turns his back on his former mentor. After all, it was Balor who taught McDonough everything he knows about wrestling years before their arrival in the WWE. The former Universal Champion also told his protege to focus on making an impact instead of making friends in the business during a previous conversation. The important thing is not to make friends, it's to make an impact. You can do that, JD, Balor, told McDonough. The two superstars were seen talking to each other backstage on an episode of WWE Raw before Money in the Bank. McDonough quickly left as soon as Damian Priest showed up. Baylor wanted to know if Priest intended to cash in the contract on him in case he won the World Heavyweight Championship from Rollins. The Archer of Infamy would go on to win the men's money in the bank ladder match in London on July 1. His actions, however, ended up costing Finn Baylor his world title match against Rollins later in the night. Fans have continued to spot signs of implosion in the stable on the road to the biggest event of the summer. Baylor and Priest were once again at odds after Finn inadvertently prevented the Archer of Infamy from cashing in his contract. This past month, Monday on Raw. UVB cameras even captured the rising tension between the group members in a behind-the-curtain video. It seems we will soon witness a face turn from one of them, either on the road to SummerSlam or at the event itself. For now, Finn Balor and the Judgment Day are focused on keeping the NXT champion in check as they travel to the Performance Center on the invitation of Carmelo Hayes next Tuesday. How do you think the segment will go down next Tuesday on WWE NXT? Let us know in the comments section below.
Damien Priest loses his Money in the Bank contract Damien Priest won the contract in the men's ladder match at the Money in the Bank event. During the World Heavyweight Championship battle that night, Priest unintentionally cost Finn Balor a chance to win the title against Seth Rollins. Finn Balor was on the brink of winning the gold when Priest showed up and distracted Balor. Rollins took advantage of the situation and won, leaving the two Judgment Day members uncomfortable and seething. Balor's quest for the title will seemingly continue for the time being. Fans saw the animosity between him and Damien Priest and Finn Balor deepen on the most recent an episode of Raw, as the latter cost Priest a chance to cash in on Rollins. Beeler's exact motivations are unknown. It's a mystery whether he hindered Priest's cash-in attempt on purpose or whether he was simply seeking vengeance for his loss against Rollins and unintentionally scuppered Damien Priest's chances. Considering the current rivalry between Beeler and Rollins, the perfect scenario would be for Damien Priest to cash in his NITB briefcase on Seth Rollins to win the World Heavyweight Championship. However, with tensions between Beeler and Priest increasing, fans may see Beeler have a go at Priest's money in the bank contract at SummerSlam 2023. It will be interesting to watch what transpires in the coming weeks. Even if the pairing of Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley has recently gained a lot of attention, it is uncertain whether WWE will split up the Judgment Day because all its members have a lot to contribute together. Davian Priest revealed the situation between him and Beeler at the Post Money in the Bank press conference, saying that things were well between them. Look, sometimes there are misunderstandings. To be fair, we had a few lately. But as far as the Judgment Day is concerned, Finn Balor and I are concerned. We are brothers. Everything is good. I think he wasn't sure if I was there to cash in on him, which wasn't the goal. It wasn't an idea of mine. I did not want to do that. I wanted Seth to feel the pressure of me possibly cashing in, and I wanted Finn to win the title. Fortunately, it didn't happen that way. I cannot control that. Finn didn't have the match won, just didn't win. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. When Brock Lesnar wanted to wrestle female, Brock Lesnar has faced almost every major male WWE superstar of the last two decades. In a rare interview, the Beast Incarnate once revealed that he would have had no problem taking on one of wrestling's most dominant female legends, China. Lesnar trained in WWE's Ohio Valley Wrestling OVW developmental system before moving to the main roster on March 18, 2002. A year earlier, the former amateur wrestler spoke to Brian Alvarez and Dave Meltzer on the March 29, 2001 edition of Wrestling Observer Live. Asked about possible dream opponents in WWE one day, a 23-year-old Lesnar surprisingly mentioned China's name. I would work with whoever. China. I don't care. Meltzer jokingly said he was critting after Lesnar brought up the possibility of a match against China. The then-rookie laughed before suggesting Kurt Angle as an alternative opponent. I have no problem working with anybody, but I think the person that I would really like to work with would be Kurt. Probably just because of his amateur background, Lesnar continued. Three days after Lesnar's comments, China defeated Ivory at WrestleMania 17 to win the Women's Championship. She only competed in six more matches before leaving WWE at the end of her contract, as well as China and Kurt Angle. Brock Lesnar had his sights set on potential matches with Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Undertaker. Shelton Benjamin's former OVW tag team partner also reiterated that he did not not mind facing anyone once he joined the main roster. I would like to work with anybody that I get the opportunity to work with, but I think I'd like to work with Kurt Angle, the mastermind Steve Austin would be great, Lesmer said. Undertaker, anybody? I wouldn't deny anybody. I would be more than happy to work with any of the stars up there. Lesnar admitted he did not feel ready to join Raw and SmackDown at the time. He wanted to train for another eight months before even thinking about a main roster call-up. Would you like to have seen Brock Lesnar versus China? Let us know in the comments section below. Sami Zayn rejoins the bloodline. The Usos have already made it clear that Roman Reigns will be on trial this week on WWE SmackDown, but what will happen if the tribal chief himself is found guilty in the tribal court? Reigns is the leader of the bloodline, and it could be decided that he will be replaced in his role for being incompetent recently. There are a number of options ahead of them if they want to put someone else at the helm of the Samoan family, but whilst Solo Sicko and even Rikishi are decent choices, it may not be a family member that is chosen. For several months earlier this year, Sami Zayn was a member of the bloodline. He was the one who first noticed that Reigns didn't have his family's best values at heart. It was Zayn that initially turned Jay Uso's head and has been there for him to confide in over the past few months. Sami Zayn always had the Uso's best interests in mind and was also once close friends with Solo Seiko. It's hard to imagine there are many people who would be able to fill the role of the leader of the bloodline as well as he could. Sami Zayn wasn't given a fair shot at Roman Reign, but he was one of the closest to defeating the tribal chief when they collided back at Elimination Chamber. Despite the fact that Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, and Solo Seiko all betrayed Sami Zayn when they remained in the bloodline, Line and unceremoniously kicked him out, he has still remained on the sidelines attempting to help them through their recent issues. This shows that the former honorary use cares more about his former stable mates than himself and would be perfect in the tribal chief role. Do you think Sami Zayn will be the man to replace Roman Reigns? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. 
Roman Reigns on his banned TikTok account While WWE superstar Roman Reigns is going through a tough phase in his pro wrestling career, he had some relief outside the squared circle as he got his TikTok account back. The tribal chief commemorated the incident with a new video on the social media platform. As reported earlier, Roman's TikTok account, which has over 1.3 million followers, was banned due to unknown reasons. This was one of several blows that the tribal chief received in the last few days, with his 1,294-day streak coming to an end at Money in the Bank. As expected, the news a huge uproar in the wrestling community. However, the megastar is now back on the popular social media platform. He made his return with another video, using a clip from the post-WrestleMania press conference where he mocked everyone after an unexpected victory over Cody Rhodes. Being a star attraction, Roman Reigns has been working a limited schedule for the last year and a half, but he will be present on SmackDown this Friday after suffering a shocking defeat at Money in the Bank. The Tribal Chief has been unstoppable in WWE over the last three years. However, Jey Uso ended his 1,290 four-day streak at the company's latest premium live event, which resulted in the tribal chief having a huge meltdown. Roman is set to be put on trial by the Usos in a tribal court segment this Friday, and one can expect major chaos to unfold. Jey Uso is reportedly next in line for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, and a match between the two could be set up on the upcoming edition of the Blue Brand. What do you think the Usos have in store for Roman Reigns on SmackDown? Sound it off below and let us know your thoughts. Jay and Jimmy Uso Tension Dutch Mantel believes LWWE could sow the seeds of some tension between Jimmy and Jay Uso after their win at Money in the Bank 2023. The Usos picked up a massive win over Roman Reigns and Solo Sikoa at last week's premium live event. The occasion was even more momentous as the Tribal Chief took the pinfall for the first time in more than 1,200 days. Considering Jay Uso pinned Reigns, it's safe to say he could soon lay down a challenge for the latter's undisputed universal title, possibly at SummerSlam 2023. Speaking on sports Kita Wrestling's Smack Talk, Dutch Mantel explained that WWE made the right choice by having Jay and Jimmy Uso win. Mantel believes if Roman Reigns and Solo Siko had cheated their way to winning at MITB 2023, fans would have become frustrated with the constant screwjob. Furthermore, the former WWE manager also feels the promotion could tease some tensions between Jimmy and Jay Uso in the lead-up to SummerSlam. Dutch Mantel also thinks Solo Siko would eventually save the day for Roman Reigns when he puts his title on the line at next month's event. This is the only thing you could have done here. You gotta leave the people happy. Another screw job would be like, oh man, get over it. Now I think you're gonna have a little bit of tension between the brothers, the Uso. They are gonna keep that going, and they are gonna challenge Roman for the title. Solo would be the barrier to keep them from getting to Roman, and they are telling good stories, said Mantel. In a recent interview ahead of Money in the Bank 2023, the Usos were asked about potentially facing each other down the line. Jay Uso revealed that he and Jimmy always wanted to go to war against each other at WrestleMania. He added that right from their childhood, it was their dream match, and that he wanted his father, Rikishi, and other family members involved in it as well. Before our career is done, that's our number one dream of happening. Me versus him at WrestleMania. It's like back in the living room. From day one, this is what we always wanted to do. I want my dad to be involved. I want my whole family to run this thing. Me being against my brother, my heart would be filled with joy, said Jay Uso. It's safe to say a one-on-one -on -one match between Jay and Jimmy Uso would be one of the most emotional matches in WWE history if it ever materializes. Do you see Jay Uso challenging and defeating Roman Reigns at SummerSlam? Stound off in the comment section below. Hello. The blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me 